Welcome back, everybody. This is episode seven, and uh, I'm glad you're joining me again. Chickens are doing well. Still not many eggs. Oh well. It'll be more like pets, I think. I don't think I'm going to make any money there. Today we're going to get to work on this guy. We're going to clean it up. We're going to uh, see what needs to be done on it to make it work. Uh, we're going to need it pretty soon, so uh, I'd rather be prepared. So we're going to get that done. Now I want to show you um, what I've done. I put our new tractor to work. And um, we'll just take a walk out here. Um, another thing for today, uh, weeds. We're going to see if we can take care of that. So when, in the last episode, we um, had made a decision to clear out some trees. And um, so that we could put it in a new field. Um, I actually did quite a bit off, off camera, we'll say. Um, bottom line is, you know, it was... Cut a tree, load it, cut a tree, load it, cut a tree. I don't think you guys wanted to see that. Um, or not much of it anyway. So um, I went ahead and made a lot of changes. And I'm just going to take a walk here. And you can see there are no trees down here. Uh, it took me hours and hours to clear that area out. I did add a secondary road over here. And the main reason for that is to separate out some field options. And uh, right now, as it is, um, we're going to have an opportunity to put in three significant sized fields. Uh, get that plow to work. So that'll be something else we'll work on today. I think we'll only get a, enough time to, um, to really, you know, get one field in. And I keep saying today, but realistically, um, it's almost dinner time. Uh, I don't think we'll get much done today um now that i think of it i think it's going to be all for tomorrow so um this road here i put in to help us get down to the main road this is a road we've been up and down many times so so yeah this side over here, this will be one large field. I'm excited about it. But I think what we'll do is we'll rest up for the rest of the day. We'll get some sleep. It is now March. Um, if you have a look, um, with all the trees that I did cut down, I did um, sell, sell the wood. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the wood was not very good. Um, and I didn't make much money on that. There were a few pines um that tend to be worth a lot more money uh i sold those as well and you can see my bank account is much higher now so so you know from a financial perspective we're off we're off to the to the races um now uh, i have hopes and dreams to develop this rather quickly and um it's exciting super exciting I guess I'm not quite sure what our first major crop is going to be. We got some canola over there. We got some wheat. Uh, the wheat really is, not, it's a very small field, so it's going to be food for the chickens. Uh, but, you know, now that I think of it, um, I don't know how much longer we'll keep those chickens. Um, they're really not doing a lot for us, so. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll figure out a way to get a a larger uh, flock of chickens but right, that's for another day I'm gonna get some sleep and uh, some dinner and then I'll see you guys in the morning all right dinner's done lights are out doors locked um, let's get some sleep Good morning. I uh, just finished up breakfast and uh, ready to go. Go, go, go. So first order of the day, um, I think we need to take care of these weeds 
before you know they take over the field so i want to go buy a uh, a sprayer let's have a look at our other crops over here and see how they're doing let's how's the canola doing yeah look at all those weeds okay so that's one of the important things we need to do today the other is i'd like to get that uh, next field in uh, that's going to take some time even with the wider with the wider plow it's still still going to take a bit of time so let's get that done Let's go this way here. I can show you a little bit better what this other field looks like. Well, that cuts down to the road. Then we've got this area over here. We can put in a field there and obviously a field there. Question is, you know, what, what crops are we going to grow here? This climate and temperature? Um... Yeah, let's go across the bridge. I now have a phobia of bridges. All right, pay attention. Okay, so we've done a little shopping. Uh, we picked up a few things um, that I think are important for our farm. And since we have the front linkage, we can bring them both back at the same time. So what we bought, let me step out and explain. Uh, what we bought is a um, fertilizer spreader as well as a sprayer. And I forgot to buy herbicide so we'll do that and there we go so let's put this guy on the front for now and we'll fill him up oh apparently i need more back i go Okay, so we got some fertilizer, and let's back up and pick up this sprayer. There we go. away because we don't really need it yet we will soon though and let's get some spraying done take care of those weeds this should be pretty quick go. 
with those weeds in a way immediately. Pretty awesome. easy as that. Get both fields done. the spot. to get all the spots. All right. Oh, one more. There we go. We better wait till this is all folded in. There we go. All right. Now here's the part that I really was looking forward to. That is our new plow. I don't know why I get so excited about stuff like that. Uh, we're running out of yard space too. There we go. All right, let's go plow time. Want to make a new field? I'm very curious to see how this is going to go. Um, I know that the requirement for this plow is 180 horsepower and this new tractor is 180 horsepower, but I don't know if that includes calculations for uphills, downhills kind of thing. Uh, so we might struggle a little bit still. On there's some significant uphills. So, it's a pretty large area. Um, I think we're gonna start over this over this way. Let's unfold. And we'll drop that down. Look at that. Look at that. This will be so much better than the other one. Uh oh. Oh, we're struggling a little bit. Might still be a bit of a slog. And this is downhill, so I'm not sure how this is going to go uphill. Come on. Oh 
boy. Come on. Let's try to take up as much real estate as we can. A lot of bushes here. the challenge. Let's see how it does uphill here. Uh-oh. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. This is uh, still a little short, but I'm really glad we switched tractors. I don't think the other one would have done it at all. Okay, so that's the outer limits of our field. Um, I'm gonna get the rest done here. And um, yeah, catch you in a few minutes. is starting. Come on. Up you go. There we go. Let's see if it go, we go this way. Um, maybe the things will work out better. Still struggling a bit. Oh, we've missed the spot. is getting very slippery. Uh, this rain is really making this difficult. Um, I'm going to keep plugging away here. I really want to get this done, but we might have to stop. This tractor really works, works hard though. 
It's not afraid of the hard work. Just uh, at times a little underpowered, it looks like. I might have to upgrade sooner than later. Come on. I think part of the problem is the size of some of these bushes. Um, I assume the root systems are pretty, pretty complex and hardy. I can barely see where I'm going. They're so tall. We keep sliding all over the place. We're almost done, but this is still a problem. Um, yeah. I'd hate to have to upgrade this, this tractor already. our new field. A good sized field. Looking forward to putting that to good use. Um, as you can see down there we still have a couple more areas that we can plow out pretty quickly. Um, and it looks a little bit more level than this area. This area is pretty hilly so hopefully those will go a lot a lot better. Let's pack this up. This will be, you know, the limit of what we're doing today as far as creating fields. Um, what I'd really like to do this afternoon, I'll grab, I'll grab a little lunch, and what I'd like to do is um, get to work on that harvester, see what we can do with that thing. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, really what kind of condition it's in, but we'll, uh, we'll get it to the... Uh, We'll get it to repairs and uh, try to clean it up a bit and see what happens. There we go. All right. We're done. So I did order, while we were at the shop, I did order a uh, pressure washer which they, they offered to deliver. Um, not here yet, but um, we'll probably need it. Keep our equipment nice and clean. So let's go back here and have a look at our harvester and see. Um, I'm not even sure where you get in this thing. Right here, I guess. Um, it runs. Sounds like heck, but... Yeah. This might work, but I think it's something we might need to upgrade sooner than later as well. See if we can get through here. Ah, it's barely moving. Let's see if we can get it repaired. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can do. We'll give it a good wash, get it cleaned up. Uh, 
Okay, it runs a little bit better. I'm gonna put it back over here for now. We don't quite need it yet. Uh, the real test is will be that first wheat harvest, I think. Okay, how you doing, girls? Ooh, look at that. I guess they needed more food. Oh, okay. I guess our next step will be to, um... We need to put something in the ground in that field. Um, a little worried about going out there. Uh... Okay, what shall we plant in there? I'm tempted to put in some high quality grass so we can make uh, more silage bales. Uh, we made really good money on that. Um, I know I can mow, you know, pretty much anything around here. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused. So we've got enough feed for a little bit. I think we'll put in some... Uh, what do we got? Let's put in some sorghum. This will go a lot smoother than the plow, I think. I think it's really important to get stuff in the ground pretty quickly. We'll maybe be able to get a harvest in before the winter comes. things that's happened over the last few days is um, this area here is a little bit they're a little bit um, I guess we'll call it poor um, and uh, I've had a lot of people come to me over the last couple of days to ask for work so um, I think we'll get to a point where It'll be difficult for me to do everything, and we may hire some additional people to help us. Um, it helps helps the economy, really, the local economy to, to employ local people. So I think we might be doing that pretty soon. Precipitation around here is crazy though, isn't it? Alright guys, I'm going to finish uh, drilling this field and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I'm done. Almost done seeding this. Um, we got some sorghum in the ground. It's it's rainy. It's muddy, um, making things a little difficult. But we'll get it done. We'd be completely out of luck with with uh, the old tractor. I don't think we could do half of what we just did today. Uh, 
last little bit. I'm already very tempted to plow that next field. Um, I mean, bottom line is the more crop we can get in the ground, the more money we can make, the faster we can expand our farm. And there we go. We're done. All fields been drilled. Uh, I'll take a break. It's raining too hard. I think I think that'll be the end of this episode. Uh, it might end up being a bit of a shorter episode, but we're almost out of fertilizer, and we have very little seed left, so that'll be something to address in the next episode. I think I want to change this path so it cuts right through here, so we might do that. I think there's a bit of seed left over here, but I'll have to get it pulled out of there. Oh, hit the post. I'm gonna put this under here. Okay. Oh, rain, rain. I wanna say go away, but it's pretty good for the crops. See how our chickens are doing one more time before the day's out. Look at that, kinda of shiny. It's like a bit of a storm going on. Uh, I think we're in for a doozy. Well. I better get inside. Okay. So, I'm just going to relax for a little while. Maybe take a real bath today. Right out that storm. Alright guys, thanks for watching, um, appreciate you sticking around, uh, I say it every episode and I guess you guys get tired of hearing it, but, you know, subscribe, like, comment, and, um, share this, um, I think, you know, realistically, you know, the subscriptions are always very nice, the sharing is even better, um, it allows other people to see my content, so, um, yeah, thank you, thank you, and uh, stay inside, because it doesn't look nice out. All right, have a great day.